Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are at King Weston with the matriarch, <laughs> Anne Marie Chamberlain. Anne Marie, today's the day that you start the process, the final process of laying Robert Lee Malcolm, aka Gullibap, to rest. Just coming in from the cold overseas, what are your thoughts now that you're back at King Weston? And you know this is the start of the process of paying your final respect. I only have two words. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Power to the people. Just say not yet, hold on. People, the brethren rise. First, them are call him say he's a madman. Let me hear them say, Wala, kill a madman. Find a plan to threaten another sober man. No, me not sure about it. So fast, so quick, me not understand. This no sound true. This sound like there's somebody running and somebody forwarding. Show me a kind of world. England all over, you're been waiting, anticipating. Yo, da, Boma Chalice Network, the world work. Money team, Jamaica, Uno a weird band this. In the freestyle, in no work one. Are the only man in the world right now. Can make a tooth passport in a cartel area. Not the whole area. Eyo, eyo, eyo. Magnum, Rupture, and everybody who knows, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's welcome the forces rising internet champion, God Lee. Yo, yo, no we have one. Them running from the bop, some running from the bop, some boy them a go and like take them bad and running from the bop. Them a running from the bop, ninja man a run from bop. All them a go and a galan, ninja man a run from bop. Yo, nobody don't see the gargan. Somebody show me ninja man. Me want know where he come from. Ninja man a last year bad man. But he want come yeah! from the I want to do that. Yo! Dave! Remember me tell you now. I want them there. Look! I want them there. I don't know where you're going again. Every girl who wants to walk out for me. Every girl who wants to walk out for me. Yo! Let me tell you now this again. Yo! Let me find hundred dollar. He drop out a ninja man teeth. People, let me tell you this. Oh me, yo, me no R A M P, me no J O K E. We spoke one T E S T. G A P M B E T. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here I am, Saturday, the thirtieth of December, on my way to Gullibap Green Digging. Currently, I'm in Mount Obel. And I'm here with my friend, my longtime friend, recording artist, new type of world war, Natty Paul. Natty, how you doing? We are sent to a bed which way. Here. What are your thoughts now about the passing of Bloody Body? Well, you know, it's, it's very um, depressing and stressing because Bloody Bop is one of our own right here in Mount Oval, King West and Lawrence Stabart. So it's, it really grieves me to know that he passed and he gone. You know? Yeah, very, very much grief at the with him. Well, as you know, he will be laid to rest come the 14th of January. And I'm in route to King Western to the family plot for his great weekend. What do you have to say to the families and the many fans out here that grieve or is still grieving the loss of Bloody Bottom. We had it. I want to say, Uncle Dead's sister, all his friends and family, 
And um, I know you are grieving. And um, I know you all are stressed. But I want you to keep calm, you know, and just pray, you know? Yeah. Whatever was a good friend. Um, from way back when he was largely prop. Yeah, we used to be all over the place, DJing and sound system back then. You know? So what I must say to you guys, just pray and um, everything will be all right. So, well, what about for that whole good, good son of mine? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. New type of world boy, Naki Paul, my friend for well over 30 years. The journey continues as we pay our respect to an icon and legend. Glocky Pound, Countryman, and now Gullibat. Stay tuned. Gullibat Grey Bidding continue. We'll die. There you go. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are at King Western. This is where Gullibat was actually born and grew up as a young man. I'm here with a master mason by the name of Bruce. Bruce is one of the best, and as you know, we want nothing but the best for Gullibar. Bruce, how are you doing? Good friends. Nothing else. Welcome to Big Stone Television. Not sure. What are your thoughts, Bruce, knowing that you're working on a legend slash icon final resting place? What's going through your mind, Gullibar? Well, the greatest thing, you know, is a great purge at MM Messenger. So, mm -hmm. we're grateful for everything what you have done. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to see me a bit of a Because you know it will go down in history. Of course it is. Mm -hmm. And this is an historical moment that people from all over the world will Definitely. get a chance to see who built the final rest, resting place of right. Gullibap. Most natural. Now, you know, Gullibap came to prominence in 2014. What was your first impression of him when you saw Lucky Pang, Countryman, and now Gullibap, a mashup thing? Every girl wants to walk out <laughs> by him. Well, definitely. Yeah, you see Gullibap now. Yeah. Gullibap take it surprise to the people. Then, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, naturally, he's a black man, he's a Jamaican, and the vice versa. Yeah. So, yeah. you can't look for anything from him. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I think that's that way I take the Gullibap. Exactly. You that wise virtual person. Come from, come from out of the... The gully. Yeah. To the money. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, back down now into a beautiful yeah, scenery. <laughs> right, because where we are located, ladies and gentlemen, you can see behind me, we're looking from the hills of St. Andrew and from looking over places valley. into the valley. Yeah, valley. So Gullibap will be with his grandparents and family members because this is a family plot. Uh, and it's very, very sad like brother. And he's going to be buried beside his brother. Yeah, right. All right. So, Bruce, the journey continues. Right, sir. Right, we right. will see you on the work as it progresses. As usual. And Big up you. yourself. And thank you very much for talking to me. Most likely. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce, the master mason who is responsible for creating the vault for the legendary, the iconic, Robert Lee Malcolm, a.k.a. Well, I'm <laughs> well, me finally catch you with up. I catch you, I catch you. I'm black, me I carry it, me I carry it down and I do some work. Me see it, me see it. But me just want to big up the brother in yeah? there. Okay. Him is a superstar. I met him over 30 something years ago. His artist's name is Joseph Curran, but me call him Joby. Me don't know about Carl, yo. Wayne. Wayne. <laughs> Wayne Thomas. No, we're about to do. It's when him won, him won me. Yeah. He said Wayne. Okay. So I mean, you know, so half me hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you swear him Bex? Yeah. He said Juby. Okay. You swear him one do the performance. Yeah. The entertain him because he nobody him as an entertain. So yeah. when him want to be entertained, he said Joseph Curry, you want me to pull him. But I wanna congratulate you for doing a remarkable job. I mean I came here from as early as seven o'clock this morning. You've been up and down carrying black steel, cement and Getting the whole food thing together and so on. A behind the scene individual. Even though he's a star, even though camera hungry like most people, he's also the owner of Talk Truth Telly. Alright? You see him all the time with Bob. 
This man is very special to me and also very special to Robert Lee Malcolm. The journey starts today now, now we put on back finally, you know, brother. The journey started long before today. You know, the journey started long before today. But me, I mean the final. But in the end, taking last. The journey started. Joseph, how do you feel real quickly now? We don't get into detail well, because you have to give me the exclusive. Uh, right? Well, what happens to me is that we're, we're for missing because we don't know about somebody else, but um, it's over two years now. We are really close. Yeah. And I mean, like, if we don't see him, we talk on the phone. Yeah. And if you have a phone, you might get somebody phone for calling. Yeah. 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 So, um, I am always there. Yeah, where he is concerned. And um, I'm a friend. I'm going to say I'm a friend. I'm a friend. From the day I meet him, him personal. You know, I've him years ago, cause. But the day when we meet him, speak him for the first time, right at Grand Spin Avenue, Pablo, my taxi driver, Pablo was driving. He said, Say, go about that. I said, Hey, I'm saying, It's a reverse. And in reverse. So in reverse, um, me, him, Pablo talked to him. And I care. And Pablo said, He might want to tell him. I said, Hey, he must say, All right, I'm going to do one, one job for you. He said, no, he said, no, I'm going to drop for him, and he's alright. Because I know I'm going to feel good, I don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to drop. I'm going to do it now. He no. um, said, give me your number, man. So I gave him a number. And from that day, from that day, he never leave me. He called me, he come at the house, he ended up at one club named Arthur Flop, which he take part in the football team, the netball team, the domino team. I go to the match with the youth. Them. The Domino told me to go to the Domino told me to make fun of them. He said the tournament go viral by just going there and just start to talk and tease them because I just said him love a lot of jokes. You know? So I miss him and call him for me. I said, Where are you there? And if he feel sick, he will call me. And if I am not around at the time, I go to the hospital. I'm going to make sure my nurse call them and put my name so I can just come up there and visit. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. always looking out for me. And during the last time of the visit, um, there, is, um, there is some stuff that he said to me. Which will be revealed in confidence like, yeah, at a later date yeah, and talk to yeah. totally. I want to take this opportunity and big up Jacqueline Hunt, our friend. Definitely, I know Jackie is a hard worker. Jackie, big up yourself. Thank you for all the support that you have given, Bob. Thank you for everything that you have done. And you see that man here? He's special to me. I mean, no, I'm super special to Robert Lee Malcolm. There's more to come, the exclusive. But we'll just get a little piece of time. Give me a trademark talk. Talk to you. Talk to you. Talk to you. Talk to you, people. Talk to you. Joseph Curry, ladies and gentlemen, my friend Joby. Thank you for coming. Yeah, I am at King Weston. And as you see, the workmen are working assiduously to put the icon, the legend, my friend Golibab, to rest. That is a monster. Normally, you wouldn't see Golibab dying because you see him living forever. And I know all his fans and his family's mom and sister and brother wish that he could live forever. But they say man that is born of a woman have but a short time to live. Everyone has come on this earth to do their part. The amount of time that they spend, only the Almighty knows that. But I can tell you this, whatever time that you give to do your part, do it to the best of your ability. And guess what? Robert Lee Malcolm, Gulliver, did just that. He did it to the best of his ability. So ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned with Steve, Bruce, and Bhagawanda. These are the architect of Golibab, final resting place. Don't touch a dial. Now I'm bridging them from King Western. There.
If I ever 
To school with Gullibab. Yeah. What's the name of the school you went to with Bob? King Western All Age. You remember the name of the teachers? Yeah. Mr. Oliver was the principal. Miss G was the vice principal. What was it like going to school with Bob in the early days? Well, you know we love school. Cause if we never love school, we wouldn't go. Would I be around and they are bush and run up and down? We couldn't read and write. That's why we love school. Did you realize that Bap had a talent when he was going to school? Was he singing and DJing? And yeah, from him born. From him born? From me and him growing up. I could never sing like him. <laughs> me have just the behind him and when he must sing, me I say, oh, you mean my boy, go on and I blow. <laughs> me blow my whistle and go on. Yeah. And him sing. Gullibap was the singer because you see talent, everyone grew with them own talent. I never have that talent. But I me and Gullibap grow. Robert! Let me ask you a question now. How is December 2014 when Bap come out past Sting stage and get the big bus? What was your thought when you see your friend with you and him go to school together? And no end up on the big stage and mash up. Yeah, yes, man, yes. appreciate it, man. I love it. Love it when I see the man come in and him say, hey, Black girl, boy, <laughs> I got him up this. When I run and I hug him, I say, Got him up, I owe this. He say, Yes. He give me car key, give me money, and give me a little of a drink. He say, All right, full dry yourself, my boy. And I say, Yes. Same age. Boy, I me see it. how you feel and appreciate your schoolmate because I've spoken to a lot of people but not much people got the opportunity to say from school like you. Yeah. That he did a great job. So what are your thoughts? Boy, Miss Gale. Yeah. Gross. Yeah. Grow all the power. Yeah. And I love this match. I'm gross and we're there. You gone before me. I don't know my time. How short it is, how long it is. But Gullibap, God rest the dead. Love you. What do you want to say to his many fans all around the world? Well, fans. Gullibap gone before Bro. us and I love on a show an appreciation to Gullibap who can who can do it do it can all of us can move well love Gullibap no for us go to the sick no for us go to the abroad and can move but who can, can show move. them compliments please and thanks show no compliments to Gullibap but I just want to big you up again, Blacks, and thank you very much for talking to me, no brother. Respect. I cannot bring Gullibap back. But no, no, no. But no, no. But time when we spend with Bap from 2014. Thank you for taking care Respect. of him. Respect. So that yeah. thing can come to the world and be the great. Yeah, my respect. And man, as Gullibap, love you. Thank you very much for talking Black to say me. Say that. Love you. Which one of your most favorite gully bop? Every girl wants to walk up for you. Hey, I love all of them. Hey, that one. Hey. 
Here you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Big Stone yeah. and Black at the grave digging of Robert Lee Malcolm, aka Gullibob. Thank you for watching. Respect, commander, general. Thank you. Respect. Hasta luego. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are again at King Western. We are in the present of a long time fan member of the Bob. Now, this is Eva, and um, she's flown all the way in from the United States of America to attend Bob funeral on the 14th of January. What made you have so much interest in the Bob? You don't want to walk off a Bob? Like, yeah, yeah, I wanted to walk off a Bob. You don't want to walk off a Bob? <laughs> Eva says she don't want to walk <laughs> off a Bob. <laughs> So that's your favorite Bob song? Yeah. But Bob was a special individual. Yeah. What was it about Bob on a serious level that really draw you into him and his personality? So? I like his spirit. I like his spirit. But he was quite a spirit. Mm -hmm. I like you know that Bob Moat wasn't... I know, I know. ...the giant church. I know. Well, so I you're more the giant church like... Either. I'm not giant church either. <laughs> Well, it is an experience that I'm so happy that you're able to take time out and mm -hmm. to come all the way from the United States of America to pay your interest to the Bob because a lot of people will be here yeah. and you first them all and you didn't want to stay too long so that you can't get a I flight and all Right, things. and all them things there, yeah, that's true. And you're here present at the grave mm -hmm. digging, so mm -hmm. it tells me that you have a high interest. What do you want to say to the family members? I wish them you know, condolences for Bob and I'm sure they missed him and I'm sure they missed the spirit also. So keep you know faith keep the faith and we have a prayer for you. Prayer. Pretty prayer good. Of, prayer of faith each and every one of the family members. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at King Weston at the final resting place of the Bob. We're here with Eva, a long time fan, and I know most of you will be here when it gets closer to the 14th. She never want to miss nothing. She had a grave digging. <laughs> so I know she's not going to miss the setup and all them thing there. And of course, yeah. the funeral. Come on down if you have the time and pay your respect to a hero. My hero. Her hero. And if you never get a walk off a bop in life as a woman in life, maybe you get a walk off a bop if you come. Wait, wait, have you come down, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to me. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are again coming to you from the grave digging of Robert Lee Malcolm, a.k.a. Call him up. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to Big Stone Television. Here we are at the grave digging of Robert Lee Malcolm, a.k.a. Call him up. I'm here with his granddaughter, Tiara. And guess what? Tiara is going to tell us how she felt when she learned of the passing of her grandfather. Tiara, how you do? Fine. Touch me. How you feel when you learn of the passing of grandpa? Well, I'm a bit sad right now mm -hmm. and I wish he was here with me. Wow. When you was going to school, did a lot of people know that he was your grandfather? Yeah. Did they treat you any special knowing that you're Gullibab's granddaughter? Yes. Oh, special did they treat you? Like with love. Uh, okay. Do um, you like anything about what your grandfather did, like singing and so on? You think he might be a singer? Yeah. You don't know as yet? Okay. So when you grow up, because you're only 12 years old now, when you grow up, what you want to be? I already a teacher. You want to teach? But you know that Gullibap was a teacher too in his own right, right? All right, I want you to look in the camera and just say to the world that thank you very much for the support that you have given my grandfather in his sickness. Thank you for the support of my grandfather and his sickness. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Tiara, the granddaughter of reggae superstar. Robert Lee Malcolm, a.k.a. Gullibab. You did well. 
Running back, rest in peace and a happy new year. Here we are again. Good morning. Here we are one of Golubap long time brethren. Artist, you know, Bagawanda. See? Bagawanda, you do. Welcome to Big Stone. Bless you. Bless you. Golubap, tell me a little bit All about right. Larky, yeah, go on, yeah. Larky Pang and. All right. Long time, you know, Golubap, you know. For me, I back in a skate land, Golubap named Country Spring. Mash up the whole place. So, years, me know Golubap. Golubap, a good legend. Number one legend. Yeah. So hold on there. We are talking about bark in a skate yeah. land. What kind of bark? Who? 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 Me the dog. You did that. Yeah. So give me one little piece of lyrics, huh? Me come on. Well, the lyrics. Me not have the lyrics. Yeah. Me on go bark. You the bark. Yes. Give me one more piece of bark. Who? 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 Go the bark for the boss. Yeah, well, go the bark for the boss. So, yeah, what are your thoughts going through now? Cause you do some work. Me say I chop out and yeah. You do your thing for your brethren. Yeah, what do you feel now? Well, that you're well, going to put him to rest. Father give it and father take it. Yeah. So, we are doing the best for Golibop. Because everybody road, you know. I'm gone soon. I'm gone too soon. But everybody road. Everybody road. Everybody road. We can't hide from it. You can't hide from it. Yeah. From your barn, it, it a gift to you. The same man that is born from a woman at but a shot. Huh? All right, sir. All right, sir. So Bagawanda. Bagawanda. Help! Help! Bagawanda. Yeah. Golibop. Brethren and know my yeah. work. Fix up the area to put yeah, the legend to rest. Up. Big up Don't there. touch it. Big stone soon yeah. forward. Right. Bagawanda! <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with my sister, my newfound sister, Barbara. She's father, she is a family in law to Robert Lee Malcolm. And we are at the final resting place where Bob's grandmother would lay to rest and also his brother. Tell us a little bit more, Barbara, about Gully Bob, the Bob that you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's a nice young man mm -hmm. of manners. When mm -hmm. I come here, I saw them a little bit. Yes. A little bit. I never rode to me or nothing at all. They always. Is there for me. Always is there for you. Yeah. Yeah, so, to me. where were you when you actually heard that he passed away? Yeah. I was right here. You was up in here in King West Stand? Yeah. So how it make you feel? If you know it's a little man where you know and... Can you know him the famous? Feel it. I feel it. Man. Barbara, you know him the famous. Yes. People from all over the world love mm -hmm. the Barbara. Yes. You know, same they have one song where <laughs> you know it. Why I tell like every girl what I walk off of me. So you know the words, Steve. Give me yeah, a little word. Every girl what I walk off of me. Every girl what I walk off of me. Tell me the music, me a rock. Ah! <laughs> I love that one, bad. Yo, me I tell you, Bob can relate. Come look closer. I love Bob, that one, bad. Barbara, Bob can re relate to everybody. Bob had fans all over the world, mm -hmm. people all young, mm -hmm. little picnic, yes. everybody, baby upon the breast. Mm -hmm. Just love the Bob. Bob was yes, that man. kind of individual. Yes, man. And he faced it, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. How about you, Bob? You can't ramp with the Bob, man. The Bob would tell you a thing or two. But guess what? He not carry grudge. Mm -hmm. Bob cost me off about 5,649 times, mm -hmm. plus 10. Mm -hmm. I mean, my friend, see where? And he never used in decent language to me. And nothing less. Yo, Bob, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And guess what? Everybody have them. You know? Because mm -hmm. I have my own too. And yeah, every day yeah. me night, you know. Yeah. So, Bob was very close to me. I love Bob to the yeah. core of my heart. And mm -hmm. I said that on many videos. And I had the opportunity, you know, Mama. Yes. To call him up on stage show and come a record producer and to interview him and chat to him and mm -hmm. find out everything. So. Mm -hmm. I know that he will be missed and I know that you love him. Yes, man. What do you want to say to his family? As a matter of fact, did you get married to any member of Bob family? So he was born there. Me know he was born there right as well. So, so he was related to Bob? Yeah, his grand uncle. Oh, his grand uncle? Mm -hmm. When did When his name? Oh, Sylvester Archer. Sylvester, that are your husband. Mm. I don't send the right as well. <laughs> the right panel on here. Mm -hmm. So, Bob have all the members of the family. Bob not going to be lonely. No, no, no. 
Oh and oh I want to tell you that the atmosphere cool. Yes. Because I don't worry about grave digging and the sun will come down upon me and so on. But the tree, the mommy see all kind of fruit. What kind of mango tree that? Uh, mommy supporter. When you? Mommy supporter. Mommy supporter. Baba, what you know the kind of mango there? Mommy supporter. Then grow big? Yes. We say one mommy supporter can fill the belly. Baba, pull it for mango. Can remember, you know? <laughs> Remember, Bap used to go and lay the mango tree in a grand spin, you know. Mm -hmm. Go read the mango tree, you know. If you don't watch what Papa video, but Bap used to love mango. Yeah. Memories of Gully Bap picking a mango social bank, Constant Spring Road. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have it easy for you, so what? Hey, I'm going to come a bang. Jump the wall. I'm going to pick mango. Hey, everybody in the chair, I want you to know. God provides with the bird that's flying. You can't wash it, you know? Yeah. Wash it, you know, nice. From the tree to your mouth. Oh, look there. I hear mango there, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's sweet as it moves. Mm. Let me jump up. Put them on over here, that's it. Jump down back. Fuck me right to the bird of fly. Got mango. Yeah. Mm. I made it no sudden so sweet. It's a big two. Yeah, a big two. Yeah. Mm. Why me not pick two? Because I know you have one one. I don't want me. I have a chain and want me. it is a pleasure to see Bob with his soft mouth and eat all about <laughs> I want to tell you something. My my mother did have a soft mouth, you know. She never had been no dentures. Mm -hmm. In the early part, you know what I mean? And, and everybody loved that. No, but no, with me, you know, me work and join the police force and buy my mom her first dentures. So I'm proud of that. I mm -hmm. buy my mama. But guess what? Mm -hmm. We used to line up Barbara and Mama, I eat mango. Because mm -hmm. you know, so she had no teeth to scrape mm -hmm. it together. So. Surely can can't suck are, it. Yeah, Surely can't I, suck you it. You can't use a knife. Um. Right, but she never bother using knife because she has so much in her country with her. You know. Number mm -hmm. 11, pile up in the bucket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Long mango, pile up in the bucket. So yeah. we used to line up, me and Glenn and you, and, you know, and Kess used to line up. And Mama used to go so bam and suck off the top part. But she can't go no further, so she just pass the seed to, to eat. Mm -hmm. So I fight for the seed, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it was a wonderful experience. So. Yeah, yeah. I know you get missing Barbara. Yeah, man. But him, they're right close to you. Yeah, yeah. So you always can come down and mm -hmm. chat to them. Come in, you chat to your husband all the while. <laughs> Sylvester, how are you there? You know what's in me there? <laughs> so it was an honor talking to you and yes, man. reminiscing about the great Bob. Yeah, yes, man. Every and you see, your favorite song is what? Every girl yeah, wants to walk over. <laughs> Barbara, you too, out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bob in law, Barbara. Coming to you from King Western, coming to you from where the legend, the icon, Kolebap, will be laid to rest on January 14, 2024. Don't touch it, darling, you know. Will it move people like Barbara? I'm going to tell you about the BAP to come. Big Stone Television. Barbara, thank you for this, yeah? Yeah, man. We're meant to size a song, you know. You know the one, yeah.
for Golden Bob. Me and him go. Blacks this. Real blacks. Golden Bob, love you. You can lick a bit before me. Respect our manners. God rest the dead. Me and her. Come to this part of the journey, the journey what? of the grave digging yeah. of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are at King Weston. This is the home that Gullibat grew up in from when he was a little boy. Mama Gill is right here. The grandmother that grew up Bob. I've heard Bob talk about her in a lot of his interviews. I've spoken to quite a few people here today, Juby, my friend, and I've spoken to Anne-Marie and Eva, who came all the way from the Bronx. But one person that was fascinated was Blacks. Blacks was hilarious. I had a great time talking to Blacks. And of course, we are going to be covering the funeral service of Gulliver. This is a day well spent. I'm very happy I was invited by Juby. Anna and Marie and the, the Bob family. Thank you so much for watching and tune in January 14 to for the funeral service of Robert Lee Malcolm, aka Gulliver. Don't touch your dial. Always watch and share this video. And remember, Big Stone Television, the second channel. Thank you.